Hey everyone, it's Oliver, and I'm back for some more Out of Wilds. I had a longer break uh, in between the first session and now, and I'm ready to continue the journey. Man, I completely forgot about time on the first episode, because the game just captivated me completely. And I've been ruminating about what happened at the end uh, since then. And my running theory so far is that we died to probably a supernova, based on what we've been told by the game so far. So maybe our sun is exploding. Now I don't know why, what triggered it. Maybe it was, yeah, I have no clue. I have no theory on that yet, uh, but we're about to find out. And the reason I also took a break here is to try and figure out how this game saves. That's been uh, annoying me a little bit, trying to figure that out, so... Um, resume expedition. I want to see, I just quit. There was no option to save, so... Wake up. Okay, the question now is... We still have our launch codes. I think we are back in business. It, the game was saved. Yes, I have the same option here. Uh... Are you sure you fixed the retro rockets? Uh, I forget your name. That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Yeah, I already have the launch codes. Um, but what I wanted to do was to explore the village once again. <clears throat> Sorry to uh, figure out if anyone else has something new to say, now that I've died and come back to life, apparently. Mika. Hey, it's you. Yeah, Slate said you're blasting off on your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Uh, yeah, I think there's nothing new here. I want to practice with a pro before I leave. Aw, uh, you're just saying that. But if you really want to practice with me, I guess I could help you out a little. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you've got. Yeah. Uh, I just want to see if there's anything different this time. Let's land on this. There we go. Let's land in the center. Now, I wonder why some of these geyser pools are blocked off. And some are not. Oh, almost fell off there. Ah, the music. Gotta love the music. Okay. Uh, let's keep going a bit. I get the suspicion maybe nobody else has anything new to say. Porphy. Hey, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. Uh, let's try the other one. I'm, I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. Oh, man. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Thanks, Porphy. Hmm. Oh, yes. Such a nice vibe there is to this town. Uh, do you have anything new to say? You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore, you know? All I know is, between the space program and Micah's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Yeah. Yeah. God, this game is just pretty, isn't it? Okay, I, I'm just gonna go back to my ship. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Or, although, I do kind of want to explore the observatory again, see if uh, the guy up there has anything new to say. He seems like an important guy. Roast Marshmallow. Mmm. So peaceful. Let's eat that. So I'm still confused about the dose off uh, mechanic here. So when I did it last time, it automatically cancelled it after, I think, seven, seven minutes? Or is it hours? I don't, I'm not quite sure what those time units are. 
but uh, I got pulled out of it after a certain time. Oh, I'm, I get it. This crystal is the one from the uh, museum here. Is that what's keeping the gravity on this thing? Pulling me down. Suit up. Right, is there anything new here? There is. Okay. What is this? Why does it look like this? Map mode. Oh. Right. Okay. So it's just a different view. Esker's camp. Yeah, he's sitting at his campfire there. Huh. Esker is growing a crop of trees in their camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. Yeah, he seemed pretty lonely up there. Maybe I should uh, pay him a visit in the future once more. Lunar, lunar lookout. Esker says the Adelrock's North Pole, marked in red on my minimap, is a great spot to listen for the other traveler's music with a signal scope. Okay. Lunar Ruins. Did we read this? Yeah, I think we read that. Zero G Cave, right. And the village. Okay. Uh, map mode? Is there anything else here? Wait, I just want to check, check something here. Yeah, I think these are just the same entries, just shown in a different way. Planetary chart of the outer wilds. Man, this is such a cool style. Timber hearth, and we have the Adel Rock orbiting that. And Brittle Hollow, Hollow's Lantern. Giant's Deep with a space station? Or what is that? And another moon? Doesn't seem to be orbiting though. This has no line on it. Dark Bramble. The interloper. Oh, that's a, that's a cool detail. This is a comet, I'm guessing, because of the two tails. So a comet has uh, a dust tail and an ion tail. The dust tail is just uh, the gas and uh, the uh, the ice and dust, or rock, you should say, just coming off the, the comet itself in its path. Um, the ion tail is uh, charged particles being released from the comet itself uh, due to the heat of, uh, of the sun when it comes close, I guess. So it's actually pointing in a different direction than the, uh, than the dust tail. That's a nice little uh, detail they included there. What is this? Little scout. See beyond the horizon. Illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, and test the environment. How do I use that? Did I did I unlock that yet? Okay, let's uh, let's blast off here. So where am I going? Oh man, I can go anywhere, can't I? I think I want to go back to the moon. I still had some things to uh, explore there. So let's do that. Oh, look at this in the background there. Can I unbuckle? Uh, zoom in with my scope. Is that like a stellar constellation? Kind of looks like the Pleiades. Or this one looks like the Pleiades. Well, For sure stars are exploding. And there's another one. Yeah. Stars are exploding. <clears throat> Including our own. I think. Here we go. Let's find the moon. Uh, I gotta get used to flying this thing again, so up, down. Yeah, just like any other game with with three... Six degree of freedom motion. I guess you could say, where is the moon? Is it behind the planet? Oh, I guess I could also explore this planet. I haven't explored everything here. We have these uh, structures here we saw on the picture in the, in the mu museum. Which is interesting. I want to explore that as well. Let's take one step at a time. Because I easily get overwhelmed in games like this. So let's go to the moon. Here it is. Left stick. I cannot log on for some reason. What is happening? I'm clicking. Nothing's happening. Why can I not log on to this? What is happening? Unbuckle? 
Oh, I can unboggle in flight. I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, okay, I cannot lock on to things. I don't know why. I'm probably missing something obvious. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, partner. Let's just see if we can get this bird on the ground. Oh, yeah, there was something over here. Let's check this out. God, the perspective here is really messing with my head. So we want to turn around like this. Oh, shit. Can I, can I roll in this? Is there a way to roll? There is. Uh, like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Roll the other way. Up, up, up. Oh, this is good. Eh. Oh, God. This is so difficult. There we go. Okay. Are we good? I think we're good. Uh, okay. Let's go, then. I love the, the sound of him breathing in his mask when there's no atmosphere. What is this place? Definitely some kind of ruin. Ooh! I can move it. Put it in there. Things are happening. What is going on? Ooh, what's that? I hear things. Ah, wait a minute. Let me try something. Oh, come here, you. Yes. It's pointing out the planets. So what is this planet? We have a banjo. Someone is on that planet playing a banjo. I remember someone telling me about someone playing a banjo, but I forget the name of that person. Uh, let me go back here. That's gotta be the sun, right? Yes, that's cool. That's really cool. Uh, we also have this one over here. This one is different. It's sort of further away than the others, and it's also bigger. Is that like the star going supernova? It kind of looks like a supernova. Uh, wait, why is it? What is happening? Okay, it's pointing at the sun. And I guess I'm hearing sounds from the planet. Or the sun in this case. It's like the the bumbling of the of the matter on the surface of the of the sun, maybe? I have no clue. So what is this place? Giants Deep? I think the name is. Okay, let's try this one. This seems different. No sounds from this one. What is this? What's going on here? I can't find it. What's what's going on here? Okay, that that one uh, doesn't work. Okay, that's kind of cool. Neat. Ooh, there's a downstairs. I wasn't aware of this. Trees detected. Oxygen tank refilled. Untranslated. Know my writing. Okay, here we go. Coleus. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator. And it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giants deep, and brittle hollow. Okay. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. Yes. The eye signal. I see. Uh, Felix says, who said this one? Kaleos? Kaleos? And then some other guy? Or 
or girl, says Felix. Uh, I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. Okay. So Felix built this locator with his apprentice? An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. And Kasava says, It saddens me to posit this, my friends. But I believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Sorry, I have, I'm having some hiccups. Uh, for some unknown reason. So Coleus... We have Coleus, Felix... I think I've seen Cassava before. Unless I'm crazy. Thatch. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. The eye. So I was trying to... Tr oh, what is that's more. Thatch says... Uh, what is this one? Build a more sensitive one? Then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Cassava. Our search for the eyes what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Interesting. And here it is again. The eye. They were looking for the eye. And... Felix, with his apprentice privet, built this device up here to try and locate it, but, but they couldn't. So they decided to build a more sophisticated one. This goes in here. Aha. Uh -huh. And Thatch says, Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. I'm paying extra attention to the words in orange here. And Nona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. The quantum moon locator? But the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. And Nona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin. Ember Twin? What is that? Is it a moon? Plume? The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Felix says, yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Konoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. Oh my god, I'm being overwhelmed here by information. Plume says, I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. So they're, they're gonna build a bigger, more, bigger, better, faster <laughs> locator on the South Pole. What a weird tree. Look at all these colors. I like it though. Looks cool. Play recording. Okay, wow. Wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself. Wait, is this the Nomai? I don't think it is, given the... Given the sloppy construction of this little tape recorder. <laughs> it seems like a, a Harthian device. It's... Really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um... Time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific. So wait, you you also had a... Whoever you are, you had a, um, a translator tool? I thought it was the inaugural flight of it today. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. So I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. 
Oh, stars above. Ooh. I just had a crazy thought. I have a crazy uh, theory here. So, I died to what I presume is a supernova. And then I woke up again. And the person at that bonfire was acting all like uh, as if never, not, nothing ever happened, right? L like I went back in time. So I wonder if the person who wrote this recording is actually me. Is it as if I've done all of this before? You know? But I, I get sent back in time and I forget about all of it. No, wait. That can't be true because... When I died, I still had the launch codes, which means I do remember things. Hmm. Especially because he was translating the Nomai writings. So that makes me think that it was probably me, because I am the one who has the translator tool, right? Because it was the inaugural flight of the translator tool. Man, I love making uh, theories about this. It's already super interesting. What is this? There's a hole. Trees detected. That's such a weird mechanic, by the way. Oh, tree? Oxygen. I like it, though. It's cool. Uh, is there anything else I can do down here? Can I go even further down? Mm. No, I don't think so. Also, is this just a light or... Yeah, I think it is. Now, I want to try something. Can I... I can take this with me. Can I... What if... Can I take this one out? Already holding scroll. Uh, wait. Oh. Can I put this somewhere? Nope. I want to try something. I want to see if... So what does it say? Where should this new more sophisticated... I can take this one out. Let me see if I can put it over here, see if it's any different. No, it's the same. And I'm presuming this is also going to be the same? I was upstairs testing the eye signal. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, just trying things. Uh, let's go up again. Let's go back up. Okay, so this is an eye signal locator, huh? And when I put it on the sun, it tracks the sun. I'm pretty sure that sun is bigger than it was before. I think it is becoming a supernova. Uh, and when I put it on this one, I believe it tracked Giants Deep, right? Gas planet. Uh, and this was... What was the name of this? Brittle Hollow. Oh, I guess it's behind the sun? Banjo music coming from that. Okay. But when I put it on the eye... So this is the eye. And... They were looking for the eye. They came to this solar system looking for the eye. It cannot find it. Cool. Uh, let me put it back where I found it. Uh, go here. How do I let go of it? No, don't come with me. Oh, it cannot come with me. Ah! Okay, there we go. Uh, let me see if there's anything else up here. Whoa, I kind of forgot about the gravity thing. There's not a lot of gravity here. In fact, there's 0.4 times gravity. Did I miss anything? What about the outer ring here? Oh, I guess these are just the rings that turn. Oh, look at that! The comet! Man, the perspectives in this game make things look... Really funny, because to me that looked like it was going uh, sideways, right? But it's just all about uh, relative motions, I guess, and perspectives. 
Yeah, that sun is definitely uh, completely red. It's becoming a red giant. And then it's gonna explode. And then we're gonna die again. Um, so let me tr try something. Okay, yeah, cool. Man, I I'm loving I'm loving this game so far. Eye signal locator. A Nomai device created to pinpoint the sources of distant signals. The Nomai were disappointed by their failure to detect the signals from something called the Eye of the Universe. Rybeck. Rybeck headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Rybeck. Did I discover that now? The Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle, Brittle Hollow South Pole. Okay, so is that my next destination? We are here, the Adel Rock, and the Brittle Hollow South Pole. So there. Oh, I can actually view the map right here. Uh, Brittle Hollow. Zoom in on that. Okay. Wow, we can actually see a lot of detail. So, we definitely have a pole up here. There's ice. Cannot see the bottom, though. What is that in the center? What the hell is happening here? Whoa. I have so many questions. Wait a minute. I think I see the same structure that was on that picture in the museum on this planet. I don't know if you can see it. It's very tiny. But it looks like, like a yin-yang type symbol, but not really. Like it's not black and white or anything. Okay. Let's just take off again. Um, Let me try some other parts of this moon. Oh, can I log on to things now? I still cannot. Oh, I don't know. I, I, could, I, I swear I could log on last time. Am I missing something here? Okay, I guess I have to manually turn it. So we've been there. Uh, this is the place we haven't been. I remember this. Let's just land down. Land. Here we go. What? <sighs> Okay, perfect. Smooth landing, if I do say so myself. Loving the music. Esker signal scope block. Day 48. Still not picking up Rybex banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51. Listen to Chert play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell... Poor It's happening. It's happening! Holy shit! Yeah, there it is. There it is, I was right. Oh god, what did I just do? I pulled out something. Okay, take me. I'm dead. Oh, that looks so goddamn cool. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Hmm. And those are our memories. Yeah, it's exactly what we've done. We can see everything in reverse. That's cool. Uh... <sighs> Love the detail when you wake up. The four eyes are waking up. What is this thing? Something exploded. Uh, Slate. There's a pilot ready to get this beauty off the ground. You're lucky I'm in a time loop. Because otherwise I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons. Because I have no idea what you're talking about. 
<laughs> okay. So I guess the the time travel thing is confirmed. I mean, I guess of course it is confirmed. We already we have we have information we shouldn't have when we went back before. Oh, there goes a satellite. What is that beeping thing up there? Definitely man-made. Or Harthian made, I should say. Oh god! Okay. So what happens now? <laughs> okay, we just died. We don't have a lot of memories this time. Uh, okay, let me just see this explosion here. So that thing is shooting. A missile. Or something. What is that? A missile? It's shooting something and then breaks apart. God, I can't believe I just died like that. So what, what happens now? It does it have something else to say? You know the ship is a death trap, right? Well, yeah, it's a death trap, but a really powerful death trap. What, you suddenly care about safety now? Come on, Slate. Okay, uh, let's not fall down again. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh, God. Uh, so you can definitely die from fall damage, which is interesting. And you just get sent back, huh? I want to see if there's an entry in my computer about that death. No? Yes? A lookout platform with a spectacular view of the solar system. Esker uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers. So that's where he's spying on everyone. Monica signal. Esker's signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. They claim it sounds just like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. Did I read this? Oh, I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I skipped through all the dialogue, so I probably missed something. I have to go back. Where's the moon? Moon, 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 moon. Nope, that's not the moon. That's the moon. Can I log on now? Still no log on. Listen, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna go into the settings real quick to check what the log on button was. I mean, it seems to be pressing left stick, but nothing's happening. Uh, so let's just land first before we venture into any of that. Um, where was this place? Oh. No, not here. Oh, right, we also have this big-ass crater. I gotta explore that, too. Let me first uh, finish the... whatever this is down here. Let me turn this. Whoa, man, that looks so cool. It reminds me a little bit of the the interstellar docking scene. I don't know why. It's just... Whoa, that was a harsh landing. Are we, are we good? Are we good? We're good. Let's get out. Ooh, I should get my suit on. Fantastic. I love the feeling of landing somewhere and getting out. I don't know why, but it's just so satisfying. Uh, let's get over here. So look, the sun is... Yeah, the sun is way yellower now. It was completely red before. And bigger too. So let's read this again, now that we don't have a star exploding in our face. Day 48, still not picking up Rybeck's banjo. Rybeck... Rybeck's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel, I'll feel better once I can hear their music. So the person playing the banjo on Brittle Hollow is Rybeck. Got it. Day 51, listen to Chert play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Porphy and Gossen? Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Day 55. Sounds like Rybeck's doing okay. That oaf. I was worried. Day 63. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. Day 70. No. It's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. 
day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space, in space ages ago. It can't be them. Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I better talk to Gneiss. Equip signal scope. That is a mystery. It's here. Right there. Wait. There. No? Yeah. Why does it not... Oh, okay. R wait. It's moving. It's on the other side of the planet. I'm such a dumbass. So that is a, that is interesting. So he went missing in space ages ago, but we hear his harmonica music coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I'm definitely going there afterwards. Uh, let me look at some other things while I'm here. I love the star constellations there, or the uh, star clusters. We have the blinking thing. I'm really curious what that is. What's this? This is the one that doesn't have any music. And it's super close. Wait a minute. Oh. So I'm which way am I looking? I'm looking towards Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow. Should be somewhere. Am I blind? I'm losing my mind. Yo. I'm being fucked with. What the fuck is going on here? I call shenanigans. I wonder what is that instrument? Some kind of air instrument for sure, but a really bassy one. Okay. Let's uh, let's go explore that crater. Actually, before we do that, I wanted to check the settings. Uh, I want to see what the button was for locking onto things. Options. Uh, advanced flight sensitivity. Ship lock rumor mode. Auto autopilot. Right. Pre-flight checklist. What is this? Jetpack auto boost. Translator, auto-equip. Freeze time while translating text. While reading ship log and talking to... I'm just gonna leave these on uh, normal, on standard for now. Hmm. Dual sense. Yeah, I'm using a PS5 controller. Okay. I have no clue why I cannot log on to things. I could do it last episode. Okay, let's take off. Hmm. Where's the crater? It was somewhere over here, I think. There it is. Let's land right in the middle. See if I can do this. Oh god, it's really dark in here, though. Oof. Unless the uh, thrusters here are gonna light things up for me. I doubt it, though. I don't think the lighting system does it. <laughs> or maybe? Actually, it does. That's good. Smooth as butter. Whoop. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah. Gravity 1.2x. I guess that's inside the ship. Okay, let's go up. 
0.3x here. Oh, that's so goddamn cool. It was 0.4x before when I was on the surface. Like, uh, sea level, you could say, on this moon. But since I'm in the crater, I went a little closer to the center of the planetary body. So, the gravity's lower. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. That is such a cool little detail. Uh, it's really dark here, but there's light over here. Let's check it. Also, equip scout launcher. Launch scout. Right, illuminate dark areas, that's what it said. And I can, I should use this more. Uh, take snapshot. No, retrieve scout. I can go into photo mode. Can I please get over this ridge? Thank you. Uh, you know what? Let's take a picture of our ship. Beautiful. It even took a picture of the, uh, of the 3D hot element on top of it with the arrow. That's kind of funny. I wonder if that's an oversight. <laughs> Refuel jetpack. Play recording. Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. Dark Bramble. I'd posit the Adel Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. I'd posit the Adel Rock was hit with a piece... with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. So there was a planet before, and now there's not. Hmm. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astro bodies in the solar system. Interesting. Not quite sure what that means. Can I go to a map from here? I can. Um, Dark Bramble. Oh yeah, this was the really weird one. The planet that was here before, but became Dark Bramble. Wait, I gotta read that again. Sorry. I'm trying to keep all this in my mind. Uh, an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site here matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. Okay. So something from Dark Bramble came to this planet, obviously. Or this moon. I'd posit the Adel Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. Okay. And maybe there's fragments other somewhere else too. All right. Let me explore the rest of this place. Let me use the signals. Let me, uh... Nope. Uh, how do I... Launch mode. Launch scout. It's actually a pretty good light that thing has. Uh, how do I... Yeah, get that away. No, 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 remove the picture! How do I... Ah, okay. <laughs> it's kind of odd how, uh... When you put down this thing, how the light spreads out gradually as if the uh, speed of light in this solar system or in this world is way lower than it is in real life, which is 300,000 kilometers per second. Notice how the light spreads out. That's not how light works. <laughs> so maybe they actually do have a lower speed limit on light here in this universe. Uh, put that away. Refuel jetpack. And let's go. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Let me just take a quick look around. I'm getting FOMO here. Fear of missing out if I, I want to find all the things. Right, we have a crash ship there. And the flag on the moon. Okay. Uh, what else? 
I think that's about it. Okay. Uh, let me transition into normal flight mode. Now, I kind of want to go... I want to go back to... Hmm, do I want to go back? I think I'm going to go back. I want to explore... Uh, it makes sense to explore our own planet first, I think, before going somewhere else. And we were told that... Or we figured out that the harmonica music was coming from this planet. Even though Feldspar, the person with the harmonica, went missing a long time ago. What is this place? Let me check out this little hut first. Whoa! Slow down there, buddy. Let's land this. Let's land this bird. BAM! That was a big one. Whoop. Wrong button. Okay. Stars are exploding. That's, that's actually fucking horrifying. If you think about it. Cool. Let me see. Oh, holy shit, I have like a, a special thing where I can go quick. Solar panels? Okay, let's go in. <laughs> uh, and we're recording. <clears throat> it's been two days since the launch of the Deep Space Satellite and I'm about to view the first batch of photos. Let the record show that on this historic day, Outer Wilds Ventures has... Ah, they're printing, they're printing. Here they come. Stars above, will you look at that? There's Brittle Hollow, and look, look, there. That's Hollow's Lantern, and there's Giant's Deep, and, and the Quantum Moon. I'm speechless, completely speechless. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system, looking stunning from every angle in each of these three images. And in color, no less. Now this is art. I could stare at these photos forever. Doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on, what is that? That can't be right, that's... I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is, it doesn't show up in either of the other photos, just this one. Well, there must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. I'll radio Gabbro and ask them to go examine the satellite's lens for defects. Unidentified signal nearby. Satellite angle 40 degrees. Giant's Deep. Dark Bramble. I recognize that one. Uh, Timber Hearth. We have the Comet. So wait, what is the mystery here? Dark Bramble, Giant's Deep. Fuck, I keep forgetting the name. Is that Timber Hearth? Is that the little moon that I couldn't find on the map? It was right next to the moon, which I assume this is the moon. The comet with two tails. Cool. And uh, I forget the name of this one, but the twins. Something. So this is taken from above the plane of the solar system, because they're all like in this sort of configuration. So wait. That would mean the uh, twins 
is the closest planetary body. Then comes Timber Hearth. Uh, Brittle Hollow, Giant's Deep, and Dark Bramble. Oh, and this is from the side. Got it. So we have... Twins, Brittle Hollow, Dark Bramble, Giant's Deep. Uh, and this has to be Timber Hearth with the moon. Okay. And then we have, again... Uh, no. Uh, what was the name? Dark Bramble. Brittle Hollow. Twins. Timber Hearth. Giants Deep. What is this? Wait, wait which one am I missing? Giants Deep. That's one. Uh, Dark Bramble 2, Brittle Hall 3, Twins 4, Timber Hearth 5? Ah, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Unless this is like a meta joke and the un unexplained thing he saw in the, in the image was himself. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, wait a minute. Does that mean he's... He is on... He's riding the satellite? I know. Let me read this again. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Here they come. Brittle Hollow. Hollow's Lantern. Yeah, that's... Uh, Hollow's Lantern. The moon of Brittle Hollow. Giant's Deep. And the Quantum Moon. I'm speechless. Completely speechless. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system. Hmm. I am so tempted to figure this one out right now, but I also kind of want to keep moving. Uh, the quantum moon. Wait, what is this? Okay, I see. This is the satellite that's taken these pictures. Because it's above and below the plane of the solar system, right? Brittle Hollow. Hourglass Twins. That's it. Uh, Timber Hearth, Giant Steel. I cannot find Quantum Moon. Is it this one? There's no name on that. But I'm pretty sure that was next to the moon here. At some point. Can I click on it? I'm fucking losing my mind here. Is that one? It disappeared. Oh yeah, unidentified signal. It's this one. Oh, here we go. We're about to die. Can I get a good view of it? Holy shit! Oh my god, it's so dark. I wanna see it! Let me see it happen! Oh no. Man, what a view. Huh? What a view. God. This game just oozes mystery. 
And I love it. I really love it. I like the fact that there's no hand-holding. There's that thing again. At the start of every time loop, that thing explodes and shoots this thing off. I wonder if I can go there. Probably can. I don't think I can land on this planet because it's a gas planet. But wait. Obviously I can. Someone is on that planet. Gabro was his name. Roast the marshmallow. Let's do this. You know, I'm getting the sense here. With this campfire, it's got to be symbolic somehow, right? Like the campfire being the sun. And if you fly too close to the sun, <laughs> you get burnt. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just imagining shit. But uh, there's just something calming about roasting a marshmallow. Sitting around the campfire. Okay. Okay, let, let's call it... Man, it's been over an hour already. Almost an hour. Again. I, I, I only wanted to go for 30, 40 minutes, but... Man, this game just catches my attention so hard. I, time just flies. Okay, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.